This is a 7th generation multi slice city. This is the table which helps in the positioning of the patient. This is the head section and the gantry. You can see the gantry. These are the control switches for the positioning. This is from the back side, back side view. In the seventh generation, the X-ray beam plays a very important role. Here is the straight beam where there is a X-ray source and the detector. The X-ray beam falls on the detector, it is straight. Then there is a fan shaped beam from X-ray source to detector. It goes in the shape of a fan. Now the third type of projection is the conical beam. There is the X-ray source and the detector and a conical beam falls on the detector. The slice thickness and the number of slices present in a CT scan is determined by the number of arrays of the detector. Here if you look at the Z plane, we have a left single slice and we have multi slice. The yellow and orange portion indicates the data with the help of different array of detectors. Now let us see the practical setup. Here we can see the exit tube, the detector, the tank and we can see that conical fan shaped beam there is a conical fan shaped beam tank is present where the cathode and anode part of x-ray tube goes there and there is a coolant which takes down the heat now we can see the control panel here is the place where the count of number of slices are present the hydraulic portion that you can see is for the tilting of gantry now let us understand this with the help of an animation the outer circle is the rippling and the inner circle shows the X-ray tube and the detector path. The X-ray tube and detector continuously moves. There is a projection of conical beam and the subject is placed in the center. So this was the principle of working of 7th generation city. Let's see what's inside the city. Let's have a look. The city with X-ray tube, tank and detector moving. The implementation of slip ring has helped in achieving this type of movement. Now we can see the slip rings. You may note there that there are thick and thin slip rings. And right they are thick and left they are thin. The slip ring helps in transmitting power three-phase power, neutral ground and the image data. Now let us see the front view diagram. This is the x-axis view of scan plane. This is the cradle. We can see the foot switch, home position, speaker and the latch button. This is the front view diagrammatic representation when it is helical scan or axial scan. Now let's see the effect of slices on the image. For understanding, we are showing an example of analogy between a city image and a camera image. The more slices in the city will lead to good spatial resolution as the city images are reconstructed images, not the direct images that we get from light. They are reconstructed images. Like a higher megapixel camera, with a good image sensor gives a good quality of picture. Similarly, the number of slices in the city with good detector, a good arrays of detector will lead in good images of the city, which are good in spatial resolution. The advantages of 7th generation city are higher patient comfort in the form of shorter and fewer breath holds in the body imaging, avoiding awkward position for coronal imaging and minimizing sedation for pediatric patients and last the good spatial resolution the increase in slice will increase the spatial resolution